I was just with Big Guy when he took the watch, bro. But I was with him when he sold y'all the watch gang on, bro. So he sold y'all a fake watch, bro. This shit funny as hell, bro. Y'all figure it, y'all figure it out, y'all. The face fall off on that. Soon y'all get it. Now y'all mad. Now bleach mad. That's that's who exactly who got the watch gang. Your watch is a goofy gang. Just be a honey gang. You got got down on, bro. On bro, it's simple as that. But yeah, y'all run to the net. And bro, I don't even mention. I don't even mention the name who watch it was. Y'all want to try to make it sound like it was my watch. I can go down the list. They guys don't want to smoke with us. Y'all asses, come on, man. Ever since Von died, y'all asses have been making no noise, gang. Broke his heel, fo. Ain't getting no money. Y'all asses goofies, bro. On love my grave, bro. I would spank anyone that claim they O block, bro. Y'all asses gonna die. Y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, smash the like button. Say which number like you is in the comment section. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail. We in here talking about Old Block, 55th. Then we talking about Lil Reese, man. We're going to start off with the Old Block shit. So look, man. Old Block got some shit going on right now, but we got to do a little, uh, we got to rewind a little bit for you to understand what's going on right now. So look, Old Block got a member by the name of Chino, you know, that died from their block or whatever. But before we say all that, y'all know Boss Top, y'all know BJ, you know, Boss Top and BJ, they originally from 50. Six and Emerald. They are originally from MOE. They not originally from Parkway. So, you know, they end up, Boss Top BJ, they end up moving to Parkway and, you know, they end up becoming members over there and shit like that. But also, um, um, a member by the name of Chino, which is Boss Top and BJ relatives, also, you know, moved from MOE to Parkway. So, whole time, Chino, Boss Top, and BJ got another relative that's, that's you know, they stayed over on 55th. Like, they ain't moved to Parkway and shit like that. Like, they stayed MOE. They stayed on they 55th shit or whatever. So, when Chino died, when Chino became a member of Old Block and died, you know, his relative from 55th, you know, he ended up getting a chain commemorated, you know, after Chino. Like, he got... 55th on the chain, then he got Chino on the chain and shit like that. You know, even though he from 55th, his cousin Chino from O Block and his cousin Chino from O Block used to be 55th, just like Boss Top BJ all they had. So, you know, Juju, you know, the person I'm talking about, his name Juju, you know what I'm saying? His ass, you know, he welcomed in O Block just off the, the old, you know, his ties like shit. Like three of my cousins is members from over there. Chino, Boss Top, BJ, they all respect the members over there. So even though I'm from 55th, I can come to Oak Block. So look, all right, there go a little bit of background for y'all on the situation. So Gleesh, you know, another member from Oak Block, his ass ended up buying a watch from members of 55th. Juju and other members of 55th end up selling Gleesh a watch, you know, for $9,000. So after Gleesh paid the I don't know why you buying a watch for nine thousand dollars off the street anyway, but you know once Gleesh got the watch, once Gleesh paid the nine k and got the watch, he realized like this shit fake as hell, bro. Like the the, the 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 face falling off, all type of shit. So whole time, Juju and the fifty fifth members, they basically told Gleesh like shit, yo ass got got like you beat. You got beat, bro. Like shit, we, you know, we got the nine thousand. We done sold you the fake watch already. It is what it is. Like charge to the game type shit. So they did Gleesh dirty. They did folding for fifty fifth. They did Gleesh dirty. You know, as far as the watch and shit like that. So, you know, a little bit of time that went by. 
And, you know, a situation happened yesterday or the day before yesterday. I guess Juju was over in Old Block or whatever, you know. Well, they was over there wherever. You know, long story short, Old Block, they end up robbing Juju. You know, they took his chain. I believe they took his watch. You know, the 55th chain with Chino name on it. Like I was telling you about, they Old Block, they got, they got that shit. You know, I think they got his watch and everything. So, all the time... Juju mad as hell, you know? And I know people be like, well, I mean, once, it was like, you know, after me breaking the story down for you, I know y'all, probably, if you still thinking like, damn, why they gonna rob Juju? Like, Juju as he related to Boss Top, he related to Gino, he related to BJ. Man, that shit don't mean nothing. You just rob one of the guys. One of the guys just gave you $9,000 and you gave him a fake watch. You think just because you boss top cuz and we ain't finna get back for that that shit you just did? Like, man, that shit don't mean nothing right now. If you wouldn't have never did, if you wouldn't have never finessed one of the guys out of nine thousand selling him a fake watch and shit, and we and, and we robbed you for your chain, then we'll be bogus, cause you ain't never do nothing. You know, you ain't never do nothing for us to rob you for your chain. Like you boss top cousin and all this shit. Why we gonna rob you? That don't make sense. But once you finessing our guys out, out of uh damn near ten thousand dollars selling fake watches and shit, man, top he gonna have to goddamn it just understand this shit. Like top, BJ, RP Chino, they probably still love Chino and all that, but they just gonna have to understand, like, look, bro, I know that's y'all cousin, but he finessed one of our guys. Like, he finessed one of our guys out of 10,000, bro. What y'all want us to just let him get away with that shit just off the fact he y'all cousin? Like, no, I know he finessed y'all out of 10,000, but don't rob my cousin. Like, hell no, bro. He just got out, he just got down on us, bro. We got to, you know? So it's like, it's some, it's some uh, back and forth right now. And I ain't even gonna lie, fool. Like, I'm a firm believer in cause and effect, bro. Like, I feel like, even though Shorty and them and oh, they some snakes anyway, it's like we got to go off what we got right now. This is what we got on the table right now. I feel like, you know, you know, it's fair, you know? You know, the game is cold, but it's fair. Like, like this shit right now, like, Juju getting robbed for his chain and his watch, to me, is fair. Because y'all robbed them. Y'all finessed them out of 10K. Y'all finessed Gleesh out of 10 bands, bro. So I don't feel, you know, I feel like you getting robbed for your chain is fair. You know, like, shit, it is what it is. You Chino cousin and all, boss top cousin and all, I, I feel like it's fair, you know. But um, y'all, and they arguing right now, you know, Juju on some shit like, man, I'm finna kill one of y'all, you know. Little old block shorty and responding with, you know, they, you know, mask on. They putting their guns in the camera switches like, yeah, bro, shit. All right, come do what you come do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Go ahead, come through here. You see what we got. We finna switch your ass down. You finna spray your ass down as soon as you come through here, you know. But, uh, yeah, so everybody's just going back and forth. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about the situation. Um, if you made it to this point, make sure you smash the like button and say which number you is. All right, now, nah. Lil Reese, man. Lil Reese and his accusers. So everybody know Lil Reese got his case dismissed on his first appearance in court with the situation with Shorty. You know, she lying on Reese saying she, Reese did something to her and the whole time her ass was just trying to get that 25000 You know what I'm saying? But um, this girl is crazy. I ain't going to lie, bro, because even after the court dismissed the case on the first appearance and all, all the information that came out that it was all about the 25K the whole time, you know, everything that came out and shit like that. Man, this girl writing long ass paragraphs on Instagram talking about, I'll never stop. I'm gonna get justice. You 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 did this to me and you probably do this to other women, but they scared to speak out. Uh uh got she man, I can't even think of all the shit she said, bro. Like she's just making long ass paragraphs, bro. Like that type of shit is scary, bro. These is the reasons why, goddamn it, you know, sometimes dudes be scared to mess with certain, you know what I'm saying? Like dudes gotta be so precautious, bro. Especially if you got some shit going on, got a little name for yourself, got some shit together. You like that's why dudes be so cautious, bro. You know, cause it's like her ass is crazy. 
She don't even care that, God damn it, she has been found out to be a liar. She just want to destroy. She just want like, yeah, she want the world to look at fooling them like something he not, bro, just because she feels some type of way. And that type of shit is scary, bro. That's the type of shit why dudes who got their shit going on be so cautious, bro. On folding them like shorty need to go to jail. Look at her. man on my son, bro. Like y'all are some hoes, bro. On my son, like the government, the police, the goddamn anybody, whoever make the rules, the laws. Y'all some hoes, bro. Lock her ass up, fool. Lock anybody who coming has she coming up, bro. Y'all, y'all some hoes, bro, for not having that type of shit in place, bro. It's a lot of shit y'all some hoes for, but this definitely on the list for sure. And it's high on the list. Like, y'all some hoes, bro. Y'all need to get some shit in place. Where it's her, like, shorty who just did with the shit that she did. She need to be in jail, bro. Y'all lame as hell, fool. My son, man, I don't even recess. It's not like, it's not even like I'm just like, yeah, the biggest little Reese fan of all time. Hell no, nah, bro. I was just talking shit about dude the other day. I don't... I feel like Reese, he cool, but he be doing a lot of goof ass shit too. So it ain't, it's not on some shit. Like, yeah, I'm just a big Reese fan and I'm just, yeah. Like, no, nah, bro, it's right, it's right, it's wrong, it's wrong, bro. Like, this shit's goofy. She on Instagram, make, she shouldn't be able to make them damn paragraphs. Her ass supposed to be in goddamn it, PC right now. She's supposed to be on 23 hour lockdown, man. Folding them, her ass over there. I put this, uh, this, the shit she was saying in the beginning of the video. See, y'all can go read that shit y'all self, bro. Like, her ass on there, delusional as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, just just some straight weird activity, bro. You know, shout out to Reese for, goddammit, you know, coming from up under this situation and, you know, getting back on track and doing whatever he was doing and shit like that. Like, that shit crazy, bro. It ain't even that serious. Hey, Reese, you got to, hey, I got to put a little bit of blame on Reese, too. Reese, you saw the signs, bro. Ain't nobody that good at keeping shit under wraps. Like, you probably, you probably just, she probably, you probably just look like, man, she finna let me smash. Easy as hell. So I'm just finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, God damn it, I'm finna go into the room with her ass. Because she finna just let, like, bro, you got to stop doing that shit, bro. Just because they finna let you nail easy, that don't mean you supposed to just, yeah, let's go to the room. Like, you, it's a, it's a, that's a red flag, bro. You gotta peep the signs, bro. Stop messing with these crazy ass females, Reese. Like, some of this blame gotta go on you, bro. You thirsty as hell. Her ass bopped out and you still went to the room with her? She over bopped. It's like, bro, you ain't gotta get like her ass, goddamn it. You uh your ass go on porn hub, see a hundred videos of her, and you still like I'm just saying, bro. I'm she overbot, bro. That's basically what I'm saying, fool. It's like like your ass looking at her like an easy stain. She looking at she looking at you the same way. Y'all looking at each other the same way. She looking at you like a lick. You looking at her like a stain. Like, man, I'm about to nail her ass to the cross. Easy as hell. Her ass like, yeah, I'm about to call the police on him. Easy as hell. 25K. Easy. Like, y'all both looking at each other like stains, fool. So, Reese, fool, you got to be more. You got to move better, bro. You got to you gotta use your discernment, bro. Like, your ass tweet. Now it's gonna be some people with even though the shit is missing, her ass uh, uh, exposed as a liar, all type of shit. There's gonna be some people who still gonna be like, yeah, Reese, he out here taking shit. Fuck them, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation in the comments. If y'all made it to this point, make sure y'all smash the like button and say what number like you is in the uh, comment section. Uh, make sure y'all mess with all the links in the description from top to bottom. Make sure y'all watch all the way to the end of the video so y'all can see all the top supporters of the channel and ways where you can become a top supporter. But look, y'all already know what's going on. Shout Rack Story Podcast. I love y'all. Before y'all get up out of here, do me the biggest favor and smash the like button now. Fold up. Throw some money out, I'll be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Little phone, them overstuff my blood and shit.